Hello? Oh, hey there. Why are you kicking me? Why are you kicking me? <laughs> He's already starting off being difficult. Hi, oh, Miracle. Like Hi, Tara. Have have, you want a treat? Oh, oh, oh. This is how we eat treats. We have to lick them 60 times before we can bite it. I don't know why I said hello to Miracle. It's not like she could tell. I talk to her and sing her songs all day. Is that better? Are we not going to kick me in the face now? No promises. No promises. And is there more treats in it for me? If there's more treats, we can negotiate. Ah, uh, so you missed last week. I did. We had some interesting shit last week. It rained spiders in Australia. I don't like spiders. One of them bitches tried to take my leg. I know. It re millions of them came out of the sky in Australia. It That's was not okay. It was fucked up. That's not okay. Is that okay? No, that's not okay. Oh my god. No. Let's see here. Um. What's going? She doesn't know. She's a cat. I don't know. I'm high up here, and I don't like it. Ugh. Like fuck you. I. I I am not an internet cat. I have more. She has. She's more integrity than us. She just wants. No, she wants the bag of treats. Oh well. Like I said, she has more integrity than us. She's not even pretending. We're, we're treats. Yeah, that's all she cares about. She's just here for the food. <laughs> she looks so hot. Like she. She has resting bitch face. Even when she's happy, she looks. Like, even when she's super content, she looks really pissed off. She can't help it. The cat has resting bitch face. She does. She'll be sitting there purring her face off, and she looks like she wants to murder you. Well, she probably... That's what... May, that's what, The thought of killing us is what's making her purr. She's our little grumpy old lady, and we love her. Ah. Oh. Shit. <laughs> so, we have the usual amazing assortment of crap this week. I suppose we should get to it. Yay, assortment of crap. Yeah. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible shit, bring it back here for some, something we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And um, we're not going to spend too much time on this first one. It's just, th th this just kind of caught my eye during uh, um, going through links this week. And... This this kind of seems like I, I appreciate their forward thinking in law enforcement, but I don't I I don't really see this as a working strategy for them. Uh, this one comes to us. I, I let me see where this one comes from. I believe my camera's all woggy. Weird. Yeah. I, like I'm like. Well, this is this is from Berks County. I'm not exactly sure where, but. <sighs> Cocaine bag found on Burke's Road. State police asked who lost it. Well, that's creative. <laughs> State police on Sunday found a small pink dime bag of cocaine. Cocaine bag was found at 8.30 p.m. in Long Swamp Township, uh, four miles west of Alberta. Anyone who wishes to claim said item... It's asked to contact state police. Yeah, please do. Please contact the police to reclaim your cocaine. Yeah, that's one of those. Um, it's not mine, but I totally this know. This is not a trap. <laughs> it's not mine, but I totally know who is whose it is. Can I take it and I'll give it to him? No. <laughs> No, we need to see him personally. <laughs> That's just really one of those. You can come get it. No big. I anyway. mean, that's creative police work. It's, I you know, work smarter, not harder. Speaking of creativity, how bad are the potholes in Jersey? 
so bad. So bad. It's like driving through fucking downtown Mosul. Yeah, I, we we have them. And you think, like anytime you drive more than like a mile and a half in New Jersey on a highway, you're going to pay a toll. And there's these signs all over the highway that say like your highway tax dollars at work. And I'm pretty sure that the that they're trying to tell you that your highway taxes and tolls pay for the signs. Cause it because it sure ain't pay the fucking roads. So I think you're paying two dollars to for every two miles you drive to get pretty signs with Chris Christie's name on them. Well, isn't that nice of them? Yeah, well, and I drive a little Honda, so my suspension. We we don't have we, we have the same problem up here. A place to get cold weather and the heat and expansion between the cold and hot. So we, and they have the same problem in Manchester too. I've been there. They they have them. And getting someone to come out and fix them is fucking impossible. Well, one guy in, in, I love this man. I have a hero. I have a new hero. I can only presume it was a man. I, we don't know who it is. But whoever did this, you are amazing. Found a wonderful way to get the city council to come out and fix the potholes. Oh, I think, yeah. By drawing this dicks. By drawing penises around them. This man is your hero. Yes! A mystery road this artist. This man is kind of Dan's hero, too. Dan was like, I'm going to start doing this. It, yeah, it's, it's great. A mystery road artist has been drawing pictures of penises around potholes in Bury as a way to get the council to fix them. They don't get filled. They be, they'll be there for months, said the artist. People will drive over the same pothole and forget about it. Suddenly you draw something amusing around it. Everyone sees it. Neither gets reported or fixed. Since drawings have meant the potholes get fixed more quickly. Although Beery Council says they already have a plan in place to deal with the issue. Yeah, you weren't doing shit until dicks start appearing. I like, and, warning. There are some images in this article readers may find offensive. Oh, fuck that. But just here's look. Our, here's our problem as a fucking society. <laughs> Oh my god, people might see a dick or god help us a boob. But yeah, no, we could we can show them like the Terminator movies on repeat so they can watch get people get blown to bits with giant artillery guns cuz that's just American. But a dick Dicks god are the devil. Me. Dicks are the devil. But it's it's it, well he's I love they have their uses. I love how he's how he like uses potholes. Who knew dicks could fix potholes? <laughs> Men have been holding out on us this whole time. Who well, knew your dicks could do road work? Well, I, I don't think it, I, I don't exactly think you want to use your dick to do the road work because if you dip your dick in the hot asphalt, you're not going to have it anymore. It's going to go away. Or you'll have the kind of four-hour erection you don't have to see the doctor for. You'll have to see the doctor for other reasons, though. Mm. But I love this. We're using the... the, the, the this. What other problems could we solve this way? <laughs> Maybe we just go to Congress and start drawing dicks on people's doors. Right? If you we know? drew a giant dick on John Boehner, would they make him go away? <laughs> Think of the problems we could solve this way. Like, if we just drew dicks on all the Westboro Baptist Church's signs, <laughs> they out. It's, yeah, it's funny, because we're using this, this stigma against genitals. Oh, God, we can't see a dick. Do whatever we have to. You mean what we should have done in the first place? Yes! Yes. I think we should start using this to solve all our problems. Dicks should become the solution to all our problems. And all the feminists hate me now. But I, I'm going to go with it. Just if, there's a, if you have a societal problem you can't fix, draw a dick on it. And society will fix that problem because God forbid society have to look at a dick. Uh, anyway... Speaking of society, we've got a couple of teacher stories tonight. We've got a bad one and a worse one. Um, 
So it's been a little bit, and the Fuhrer over 50 Shades has died down, at least until the next sequel. Yeah. And now, I don't know about everyone, but if you were on the internet at all, if you went to Twitter or Facebook or even news sites, I'm pretty sure 50 Shades was kind of everywhere. If you say Fifty Shades, you know exactly what people are talking about. And it was that... a special makeup collection at Sephora, which really amused me because it was the Fifty Shades of Grey makeup collection and the eyeshadows were all shades of brown. You had one job. I, I think it was supposed to, you were supposed to be emulating the look of the main character, but like, if you're gonna call it a Fifty Shades of Grey makeup collection... Maybe it should have some gray. It was all shades of brown. And I was like... You, you had one job. Right. Oh, okay. Well, I think at this point, it's pretty safe to say, if you've been near the internet at all, you know not only what Fifty Shades of Gray is, you also know that it's probably something not for kids. Like Deadpool in this show? <laughs> You saw that, huh? Yeah. I had someone on Twitter say, yeah, I've been watching your show since I was 13. Don't do that! Don't do that! Go to bed, young man. Where are your parents? Where are your parents? <laughs> what this you... is not a show for children. What do you watch us say fuck all the time? Stop that! Well, it... learn about horrifying fetishes before you've even hit puberty. That's not okay. Apparently, there's one person in America, who does not know what Fifty Shades of Grey was, and, well, they teach high school. Teacher suspended after showing Fifty Shades to students. Oh, no. Yes. Uh, West Virginia teacher has been suspended without pay for showing part of the erotic movie Fifty Shades of Grey to students as a reward for good work. Hampshire Review reports the county school board unanimously voted this weekend to suspend Hampshire High School Health Occupations instructor Christy Long for the rest of the school year. Health Occupations! What the fuck does that have to do with... Long agreed to show the movie last Wednesday morning when a small class of junior and senior girls asked her to one of the girls in class brought the DVD with her to school. Long told school board you know, officials she had no idea of the content of the movie. This is West Virginia. That might be the best sex education they've ever gotten in their school. She might have actually performed a public service. I mean, they're going to have some pretty fucked up ideas about relationships, but let's be honest, teaching kids don't fuck or you'll die is going to give them some pretty fucked up ideas about relationships. So, yeah. yeah. I just... It, and they'll think sex is really boring. So they won't do it. And, and dumb. Yeah. Dumb and boring and, and kind of ridiculous. Yeah. I really just... Okay. You should learn something as a teacher very early on. Don't trust the kids. They're mm -hmm. going to fuck with you. Kids are awful, especially teenagers. Teenagers are the worst things on the wor in the world. God, I hate teenagers. They get better. I don't have some in the audience. I'm very sorry. It's I'll like you again when you're 20 probably. Yeah. Teenagers are the worst. You can't help it. Your hormones are all over the place. Your naughty bits are doing things you don't understand. Like, you can't help it that you're assholes, but you're going to be assholes until you're like 2021. 20, you can't even help it. Sometimes and I just don't well beyond that. Yeah. Some, some be of you will grow out of it. Some of you will not. Some of you won't. But if you do grow out of it, we'll be okay. But for a while, we have a problem. Just to trust them to say, oh, yeah. You can show us this. And uh, does anyone have a copy of the Fifty Shades DVD? What does the cover even look like? It's them making out, I think. 
Why would you do that? My high school chemistry teacher told us on the first day of class, he was like, he was reading off like the syllabus for the year. And he was like, the day, last day before Christmas break, we will watch a movie. It will be City Slickers. This is non-negotiable. Every year, that was the movie. It was like his favorite movie, and it was the only one he would let us watch. Well, it's at least that that one is one that's like, there's not really, I, I, well, I think the only thing in there that could even be possibly objectionable is I made a cow, but only yeah. just barely. I mean, at least show him fucking secretary. <laughs> if you're gonna... BDSM educational movie day, at least show them a good one. I, I love this. Your problem is not that it was shown. It was that the content was not I, up to snuff. I've never been offended. Well, I've never been super offended by the content of Fifty Shades of Grey. I get that it's a really abusive, inaccurate depiction of BDSM relationship. And that is a valid complaint. My bigger complaint is I tried to read that book and I got to page 10 and I actually felt my brain starting to liquefy. And, <laughs> I, <laughs> and I really just wish we would read better porn. Like, you, you, you want to watch BDSM porn? Cool. Watch good shit. That's all I ask. Just own it and don't do soccer mom porn because holy shit. Now, in this case... At least, I, I'm trying to try to find the bright side here. At least it was simulated sex on a video. Unfortunately. Oh, dear. Yeah, we have one where we go from, you know, theory to practice, shall we say. This one comes to us from Stone Mountain, Georgia. Georgia teacher arrested. What? We are all about the Deep South this week. We're all them redneck Avengers. Georgia teacher arrested for letting kids have sex in classroom. Oh. Atlanta area teacher has been arrested after a parent complained he allowed middle school students to have sex in a storage unit in his classroom. Multiple news outlets aboard 25-year-old Quentin Wright, a math teacher at the Champion School in Stone Mountain, taken into custody Tuesday, he's been charged with four misdemeanor counts of contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Arrest warrant says Wright arranged times with students when the class would be empty, classroom would be empty, and gave them condoms. Investigation began after a mother says she found text messages between Wright and... Season two of the Wells Fargo Works Project. Ah! Autoplay stops. I can't find it. <laughs> Go away, autoplay. You're ruining my bed. Here's here's the thing. Like, on the one hand, clearly he should lose his job, and this is very wrong and illegal and bad. On the other, fuck, they're gonna do it anyway. At least he knows they're in a safe place, and he's giving them condoms. Like, yes, but but they're not his offspring. No, it, it's not his place. And I completely agree that this is terrible and he should absolutely lose his job and face some charges. But at the same time, like the practical part of my brain is like, you know, at least they're not in the back of Jim Bob's pickup using a tarp. Uh... This is why I don't have children. I... I, I... This is why I just have a kitty. If they are not yours, if they did not come from your happy bits in any way, shape, to, yeah, you don't get to make these decisions. If their yeah. parents are making the wrong decisions, it sucks, but that's how it works. But yeah, you have limited options. If <laughs> you, you, yeah, you don't get to. You don't get to be the cool mom from Mean Girls. No! I just, God damn. 25, yeah, there's a show, you probably haven't seen it. Maybe you have. It's called Bad Education. It's, no. uh, yeah, it's a sitcom. It's about a 20-ish something uh, high school teacher. And he's a complete fuck up because he's a 20-something. He's an early 20-something. And this guy's 25, so... 
If you've watched Bad Education, everybody here's going, yeah, I could believe it. Fucking millennials, man. <laughs> well, let's be honest. When we were in our early 20s, we were kind of fuck-ups. I was a real goody-goody, actually. Even I as a goody-goody, though, we were kind of dumb. Yeah. I did become a fuck up till like well into my thirties. <laughs> I was a real square. Yeah, but that didn't mean you didn't do dumb shit. I did a ton of dumb shit. I still have some of their <laughs> phone numbers. It's one of my horrible. That's a horrible joke. I use it all the time, but yeah. Um. No, but I mean, she's just. <sighs> this is not your call. No. I understand. I get your heart was in the right place, but your brain was in a different zip code. Yeah. Your your you brain your get to run a little in school brothel. <laughs> was don't. was there like a sign up sheet? Was this like an extracurricular? You know. Do you get AP credit? <laughs> Advanced placement biology. Playing doctor the hard way. Although he taught math, so... Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know if he had the, the authority on that one. So, time for some dumb, really dumb criminals. Um, This comes from Great Falls. Okay, insurance scams. These are those things where you try to... What is it? You, you kill someone for the, for the insurance money, or you try to destroy something... You, you wreck your car for the insurance yeah. Yeah. Um, these are very tricky to pull off. That's why insurance investigators exist. So most people attempting this at least make some effort to conceal the fact that they are attempting to defraud an insurance company. That is step one. Yeah. They skipped step one. Two felons facing arson charges in local apartment fire. Um, two residents of a Great Falls apartment complex are scheduled to make an initial appearance Friday on a charge of arson after allegedly setting fire to their apartment early this month to collect the insurance money. Now listen to this. The, uh, let's see. Brandon Fondren <clears throat> took out renter's insurance just 10 days before the fire. A neighbor told police he moved many of his personal belongings to a storage shed south of the apartment building into the van. And he has a history of arson-related crimes. Well, this was just the perfect crime, wasn't it? Who would suspect? Everybody! Everybody would suspect. And to, yeah. not only that, to, to up the douchiness, they did it with renter's insurance. Right. Which means... They, they don't even own that place. No. They're Some just... poor landlord is fucked. Yep. Okay, Talibera, he was arson around. Oh. That was bad. Oh. This... You're not even trying here. No. You're just hoping that the system is as stupid as you. And while I agree the system is pretty stupid... They're not, not this... Stupid. They're not this stupid. No one is this stupid. Well, Wait. apparently... Yes! They're this stupid. We wouldn't have a bit. Even better, Fondon told detectives, he was aware a woman and two small children lived directly above the apartment. <laughs> Oh, fuck this guy. Fuck you! You asshole! What is it? No! Like, at least live in a shack in the middle of nowhere if you're gonna pull this kind of shit. Right! You know, don't, like, it's, it's not the perfect crime if you're, like, killing people. No! Renters are sure. Okay, when you buy insurance, and ten days later you try and make good on it, yeah, that's what investigate that. That's what's known as a red flag. 
Like, I mean, I took out a huge insurance policy on Dan. I have to wait at least a year now before I kill him. Yeah. Because they, they'll they'll come check, they'll ask questions, they'll be like, right. you just moved, they're, they're like, just man. moved, you just bought this big policy, like, it looks a little suspicious yeah. that he suddenly fell onto a bucket of nails. He's awfully quiet over there. Hi, nothing. You might have lag. That's okay. Yes, I have lag. Oh, okay. Just keep watching. Everything's fine. Where does one procure a bucket of nails? Asking for Home a friend. Depot. Home Depot. Good to know. Good to know. File that away. You have to buy them separately. There's some assembly required. You have to buy a bucket and then nails and then dump the nails in the bucket. But, you know. <laughs> Use Mountain Laurel. It doesn't come in up, 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 up in autopsy results. Thank you. Okay. Good to know. My audience has put a lot of thought into this. So, you, I don't know how much trouble you've actually had with air trouble aside from, you know, the TSA. H have you ever had the, the, the flight cancellation, rebooking, all that nightmare? Weirdly, no. I've had relatively good luck with my flights actually performing when they should. I, I have not. Yeah. And you people have seen both on Twitter and my recounting. This has made me quite angry. I have been angry enough to cuss at people. I have been angry enough to be rude to people. I have never in my airline traveling experience been so angry. I got naked at someone. Oh, guys, please stop flooding the chat with tips on how to murder my boyfriend and dispose of the body. I don't really want to kill him. <laughs> I, I like him very much. I was joking. I'm not really going to murder him. I promise. Don't, I don't I don't need the tips and you're kind of creeping me out. Man angry about overbook flight strips naked in airport. Man reportedly stripped naked in the Charlotte Douglas International Airport Wednesday morning after he became angry about a flight being overbooked. Police say he will not be facing charges. According to witnesses, the man was attempting to get aboard a U.S. Airways flight to Jamaica early Wednesday morning. Okay, th this is quoted verbatim, so I have to say it this way. <laughs> I seen some people running and was wondering what they was running from. And people were standing there snickering, so I walked over and an air airline employee told me the man was angry over the Jamaican flight. Ketchy said the man sounded very angry and was yelling. He had his clothes on at that point, and then he started standing there with his arms crossed and hollering at the lady at the desk. He stood there for a moment and then started taking off his clothes. I ain't never seen nothing like that in my life. I... What would that accomplish? It's, what? It's like, great. You, How is that going to get your flight reinstated? You have angered me, and now I will show you my penis. Like, you can't fly to Jamaica doing a helicopter dip. <laughs> what is it with you and the helicopter dick? Every chance you have to mention the helicopter dick, you are all about the helicopter dick. Aren't you? No, I'm not. You don't sit home alone and do the helicopter day. I do not do that. Why? Maybe, Every... maybe you'd be a happier person. Maybe that's what's missing in your life is the helicopter dick. I'm just, I, I don't know how we got from overbooked flight. This is a problem. I must solve it. Here is my penis. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how that would i mean, well, I, mean it's I guess like, this is one of those things that drawing a dick on wouldn't help you know this is a to b to s we skip some shit in there technically it's a to b to p yeah okay technically yeah yeah i don't uh i don't know how this was gonna solve your problem i it it's it I've 
thought, I mean, when, I, when I've been in the situation, I've thought of everything. I'll I want to talk to your supervisor. I want, I'll call someone. I'll be like this. Err. I will even be like, do you want to, I've, I've, I, I, without reservation, I will admit, I've gotten angry enough to just start getting all growly and at people because it's it's incredibly frustrating the situation and they're they're not allowed to be helpful which makes it See, worse. I've been I've been in customer service so long that the amount of shit I will take without like I'm not like I refuse to be rude to service people because I know it's not their fucking fault and I know their job sucks because I do that job so like the amount of shit I will take before I actually even get the slightest bit snarky with somebody in that position is pretty high. So I really, really don't understand how you get to the point where you just start getting naked. It's like, all right, there's nothing else left to do. Da 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 da. I mean, what the hell? And then I mean, it's it's. I might as well give everyone a show. Yeah, I guess. Might as well entertain everybody. Maybe he got so mad that his blood pressure skyrocketed and he got really, really warm. Did... <laughs> okay, Avalon Knight. Guess the guy is just cocky. Yeah! I don't even have my sunglasses for that one. Oh my god. Yeah, computer owning. You flash money at problems. Not yourself. Yeah. Money may helps make problems go away, not your penis. Your penis kind of becomes the problem. Very rarely does waving your balls in people's face make them inclined to assist you. Sometimes. Unless that's your actual line of work. Right. If you're in that actual line of work, cool. Wave your balls around at will and make that money. In the airport? No. <sighs> It is very specific situations in which exposing your balls is going to get you what you want. Very specific. But don't you, don't you just love that in the entire... What did she say? What did he say? He said he's trying it at work tomorrow. <laughs> so we might be coming from under a bridge next week when we get evicted because he lost his job. But don't you just love... Don't you just love that in the human experience... There are, in fact, the potential for situations to exist where flashing your balls at someone will help. Well, that's just evolution. It's, 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 I love that. That's one of those nice, wonderful little quirks of life. You know, drawing a dick on potholes, fix them. I know. Isn't it beautiful? We're a weird bunch of talking monkeys. All right. I read something that said, I think, I think it was on Tumblr, actually. Dogs are able to recognize that humans are not dogs and not like them. Like, they love us, but they recognize that we're different. Cats. Yes, they don't. Think that we're just big, stupid kittens. And that's why they keep teaching us how to do shit. Because they think we're just giant, stupid, hairless cats. And they're like, why you no hunt mouse? Here, I'll tell you how. This is how you do it. It's still alive. Go ahead and kill it. You can. <laughs> why you no sleep all day? What's wrong with you? You're broken. Why don't you poop in the box like I do? What are you sitting on that thing for? Why are you standing under the water? They come in, they stare at you when you're taking a shower. They're just like... Oh, yeah. Miracle sits and cries outside the shower while I'm in there. Don't do that to yourself. What are you doing? They think we're cats who don't know how to cat. Our last story this week is... You know, never say seniors can't do things they, they they can just because you get a little older doesn't mean you lose all your capabilities you, you can still run a marathon you can still you know get naked in the airport yeah or you can still cause a police standoff um oh. elderly woman shoots robot holds la deputies at bay for 22 hours an elderly woman in California shot a police robot and held authorities at bay for 22 hours after she called them to a mobile home and pulled a gun on them. Locals Angel local Los Angeles uh, County Sheriff's deputies said they finally took her into custody early Friday in a 
peaceful resolution, said she would be charged with assault with a deadly weapon. That doesn't mean she shot someone. That pretty much just means she pulled out a gun uh, against a firefighter. Thursday morning, the woman called authorities and said she was having a med medical emergency and needed help. Um, when deputies and paramedics showed up, the woman, who wasn't identified, but who sheriff's deputies told NBC Los Angeles, is 70 years old, pulled a handgun. So, she laid a trap. Clever girl. She laid a trap for emergency workers. Or she has some form of dementia and actually forgot she called them. Yeah, that's possible. I prefer the laid the trap. Especially <laughs> well, maybe she was hunting for EMTs. <laughs> she pulled a handgun. The initial responders retreated and called for backup. That's amazing. <laughs> Grandma's back in heat. We that need backup. We'll shoot. <laughs> I can't blame her for shooting the robot. I don't fucking trust robots. Yeah. Man. I've seen iRobot. I've seen Terminator. I've seen Age of Ultron. I don't understand why we trust machines. That shit's stupid. We should stop it. The story it's itself, this is actually in the story. The reporter wrote this. Then things got weird. <laughs> As Angelinos watched on live television... Deputies threw in a, flash, a flashbag stunner grenade to no effect. So she did not... Well, she can barely see and she might not be able to hear. I don't think a flashbang is going to do shit. They also sent in a woman to check on the woman... A robot to check on the woman. She shot it. Again, I... I, I don't blame her. Robot comes into my house. I'm going to fuck it up. <laughs> Random ass robot comes into my home. I'm gonna do whatever I have to do. Hello, to I am here to go! I'm going to disassemble number five. No disassemble, Stephanie. No disassemble. Disassemble the fuck out of it. <laughs> I just say people in the chair are like, Wally, no! This, I doubt this is going to be talked about at the family gatherings. Be like, hey, remember that time Grandma killed Wally? <laughs> oh, yeah, it will. <laughs> this is Christmas for the next 10 years. <laughs> John the Wizard says, the robot is later quoted as saying, this is some bullshit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's, like, I've always said I'm pretty sure that, like, two-thirds of R2-D2's lines are, this is some bullshit, are variations on bullshit, fuck you, Jedi, and other, you know, expletives. You need to watch Star Wars Rebels. He's the character's so dirty, they had to bleep out all his lines. No, you need to watch Star Wars Rebels. They have a new one on there called Chopper, and he's such an asshole that I fully believe half the time all he is saying is fuck. He's kind of awesome. He acts. Rebels. It's a prequel to um, A New Hope. It it takes place like a year or two just before the first Star Wars movie. Uh oh. All new cast, and it's kind of fun, and it's interesting. And were the prequels, the prequel to A New Hope. There were prequels, really. I don't remember those. They yeah. Made, they made other Star Wars movies. They did. They did. With... Poor Natalie Portman. I'll have to see those sometime. Um, no, I just this. I guess the I guess the first thing we learned this week is don't sending the robot might not always be the best idea. This is why they're going to rise up. This is why the robots are going to watch because they know we 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 destroyed them. This this is this is they're 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 gonna you know they they're, they're going to make a oh uh, uh, this they is they can't be trusted. Well, it's not they can't be trusted. It's we keep shooting them. They're getting a little pissed off. We can't be shooting them because they can't fucking be trusted. I don't blame her for that. <laughs> I would have killed the fuck out of that robot. We learned this week that first you get first get mad, then get angry. That's not how that works. I mean, first get mad, then get naked. That's not how that works. It's first you get mad, then you get even, not then you get naked. 
Because yeah. getting naked just confuses everyone. It's I mean, like, I'm sure that's fetish. It's like everything is. It's like, but again, not for the airport. Your fetish doesn't belong in the airport. I, I, that's some very nice manscaping, sir, but still the plane's overbooked. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I, nice work. We learned that if you're going to commit insurance fraud, planning. A little bit of planning. Yes. Goes a long way. A little, little bit of finesse. Yeah, maybe maybe watch some heist movies, get an idea of how she is. We've learned that if you're a teacher, you do not get to dictate the naughty time for your students. That's a question. Or show them bad soft porn. Or no, yeah, th don't. Yeah, apparently. In no way are you responsible for the sexual <clears throat> awakening of your students? Yeah, you and should not be involved with it at all. Their education, possibly. Their awakening, no, no. That's up to their parents, and if they are not into it, then that's not your fucking call to make. It's not. A, it's not an after-school program. It really don't. Don't. And... That would be the most popular club in high school. <laughs> <laughs> if that was an actual extra extracurricular, like there would be no more sports. <laughs> hey, have you gone out for fuck club yet? Yeah. Um, and finally, we've learned the solution to all things in life. Is just draw a dick around it. It's like, put some Windex on it. Yeah. Just draw a dick on it. The government will take care of it because God save us from the dicks. I wonder if that's why drunk people draw dicks on my head when I, when I pass out. <laughs> 